very happy mood. Uh, this prelude has some interesting ornaments, uh, ornaments inside of the chords, which is quite unusual. And in the beginning, ornament is uh, done or suggested for the middle note, not for the top note, but for the middle note. So it is played on the beat. First we play the chord, then we play down and back. So it's C, B, C, C, B, C, as in Morgan. Thank you. C, B, C. To learn this, you can practice like this. First, practice chord. And then slowly play the chord. Remember that middle uh, voice needs to be moved because otherwise it will not be a room to come back. So you need to play chord, play down, and then play back. Thank you. Same will be in measure nine. So it's in here it would be probably with F sharp. some trillers and mortars, but they are for the top voice. This is second link, uh, measure. We always play ornaments on the beat, meaning that we emphasize the first note. We don't play it to the beat. That would be later period. For Baroque time, we play on the beat. Also, second measure, third beat. So instead of playing to the beat, so first mortar or ornament and then chord. Instead of this, we start exactly with the chord, and we should emphasize slightly the first note of the trill. Instead of playing to the last note, we play to the first note. That will be more in style. Then there is interesting um, suggestion in measure four. It's quite unusual ornament. It has both uh, trillo and turn. Could be played also this way. Um, so we can stretch that ornament. It needs to be done within quarter note. Or could be so there are some varieties. Um, there are two different episodes. Bach suggested uh, repeat signs. And if you play with repeat, change something. Uh, dynamics could be changed on piano. And uh, articulation could be changed as well. Let's just have an example. Measure five. Second time it could be played with different articulation.
change the sound so just move it if you please and consider these two words in perspective mostly this prelude is written in two voices but sometimes we have parts with three voices um, for example measure 12 we play chords at the same time at the same time notes happen at once but uh, we can listen the, to the top note or to the lower note so all together sounds like this i also feel like this prelude has two different parts one is more heroic and confident the beginning forte and for second half would be piano on harpsichord I would probably do it on double string like so I would have louder sounds for this prelude it's more grand you can check the harpsichord uh, performance after this video I will include it to this tutorial thank you